You're watching 8 bit days a week, and um, I've uh, went through the games of the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive Mini, uh, more or less actually. I uh, skipped on the RPGs, and um, thing is, I have to give more time for each game there since I have to learn them and all from ground up so since I wanted to give my review overall of what I think about the latest classic system here and um, yeah I love it <laughs> love it so much I think I'm I'm preferring this over the any of the Nintendo offerings NES or SNES and of course more more so th more than the PlayStation of course the PlayStation once hacked that it's actually the best it uh, trumps everything else when it comes to hack but when it comes to the like uh, the stock games and the options I give this one the best especially since you can uh, switch from the Japanese version to the English version to European version of each games and not to mention this has a lot of games not counting the multi games like the Mega Man Wily Wars and um, the value in a can here and all when it comes to variety I um, I love this even more. Get a lot of uh, great shooters here: Thunder Force, Musha Lest, Space Harrier, and we got unreleased games too of them: Darius and Tetris. Although I th I think you can really skip on them. <laughs> it's a nice novelty, but it, um, that's where the SNES Classic would. Uh, beat this one out but still this thing has uh, like twice of what uh, everything of what SNES has it has twice the number of games and it has a lot more two-player games which I like um, as I've repeatedly mentioned before I got the Asian version and um, because I was looking forward to the six button but once I went through the games turns out you don't really need the six button for most of the games here I guess if you had like the US version which sadly has a three button you know it's kind of weird you need the six button controller for the version that has a three button uh, like, uh, you know, the US version had the Street Fighter 2 Eternal Champions. Those require six buttons to enjoy it. But here in the Asian version, yeah, it's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't think I've even used the XYZ for any of the games here. At least I don't recall. So... Yeah, when it comes to variety, once again, uh, maybe one thing lacking here is the sports category. It does have one, like uh, wrestle ball here. It's not even a, like an actual sport. It's based on an, an real sport, but it's uh, you know not really a realistic one. So yeah, um, what else we got? Run and gun. The SNES may have uh, Contra 3, but that's it. <laughs> this one has Hardcore and Gunstar Heroes. A couple of single player ones too, Alien Soldier and Alicia Dragoon. Um, 
I suppose none of these games can um, match Super Metroid or A Link to the Past. So I guess it really depends on your what kind of a gamer you are, your preference. You know, how much you love the system would really depend on the types of games you enjoy. And um, personally for me, I, um, I like this one more. Strange. <laughs> I grew up with a Nintendo system, but maybe if I had a Sega when I was younger, I may be... A may have become a total Sega, what do you call it, hardcore fan. Or maybe that's the reason why I am enjoying these today. Seeing some games that I never really had any nostalgic attachment to. I mean, I've tried some of them way back then, like uh, Streets of Rage. And Sonic. But anyway, um, when it comes to features, they're very similar anyway. We got the um, screen settings. Also has a CRT filter. Doesn't have like the pixel perfect thing though. And um, wallpaper, but this has fewer. That's fine. Most people play it with the black borders anyway. But nothing can beat this option to change it to a Japanese version. So yeah. Once again, this is the Mega Drive Mini. And I'm looking forward to the PC Engine soon. That is also made by, uh, I mean, the emulation was also is going to be handled by M2 as well, so I expect good things. And hopefully, uh, N60, uh, Nintendo will bounce back with an N64 classic, and maybe Sony can redeem themselves somehow, although uh, I'm not sure <laughs> how that's going to happen if they're going straight to the PS2. And I hope Sega continues with the Sega Saturn soon, and then eventually a Dreamcast. Or, heck, I'd be happy with a Sega CD or a 32X, who knows. <laughs> and that's it for this. I uh, highly recommend this for everyone. It has great games, easily accessible. A good number of games as well. And uh, once again, you're watching 8 bit days a week. Please like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching. And do check out more videos soon. I'll be I'll be playing this more a lot. Maybe stream them. And uh, that's where I'm gonna cover the RPGs. And that's it. Thanks for watching.